Well, if you if you be quiet, you can. Thanks. Um, we listened to our new Greek colleague after welcoming him to the Eurogroup, um, his assessment of the situation and what the results of the referendum would mean for the Greek government. Um, he has not yet uh, uh, presented new proposals, but he will first of all now send us quite quickly a new letter requesting for ESM uh, support. And following that, he will uh, present proposals from the Greek side on what uh, the um, substance would look like on which we could reach an agreement. Uh, so we will do that as quickly as possible. Already tomorrow morning we will have another conference call to talk about this letter with a formal request for ESM support. Uh, and that will for me be the signal to start uh, the process. First step will be to ask the institutions to assess financial situation in Greece, financing needs, debt sustainability, uh, and then we will have another Eurogroup uh, to decide whether we will formally start the talks on a possible program. Uh, the ministers also broadly agreed that if there is to be another ESM program with support, it would have to be a medium-term program for reasons of uh, credibility. The problems in Greece are deep and will need uh, our attention for quite a time to come. So we would be talking about a medium-term uh, program. Are you, optimistic you expect now? More? are you optimistic after what you hear from the new minister? Um, it's a little uh, too early to say. Um, you must realize that um, uh, in the mind of the Eurogroup, the problems in uh, Greece do really need um, credible uh, reforms to deal with those problems. Uh, and therefore, we need to hear from the Greek government whether they have such reforms in, in mind, whether they are prepared politically, uh, prepared to do those. Uh, and that's what we will hear from them very, very soon. Did you we don't have time. Proposals we don't today? have time, Minister. Did you Minister, expect we don't have time time for this. We don't did, you, did you expect uh, concrete proposals already today? Or uh, we today? were under the suggestion that they might have come today, uh, but they were not uh, available uh, yet. First step now is to have a new letter. The old letter had a number of different requests. We would like to receive a new letter and we will receive it quite quickly. Do we have time for all this? Do we have time for all this? There, do, do, do we have time for all this? There is a great sense of urgency. Uh, we all share it. Uh, the Greek uh, colleague shares it. Uh, we share it. We all know how very difficult the situation in Greece is as we speak. Uh, and time is very short. Uh, and more so uh, as we go uh, guess, as we go on. What do you think about the ECB? Is there a chance that uh, the ECB will receive tomorrow a strong political signal in order to continue to support the banks and the Greek deposits? No, we never give strong political si signals to the ECB because they are independent. So they will independently assess the situation from day to day and take their decisions. Are we still talking about the Mr. President. Program? Uh, tomorrow morning we hope to have that new letter from the Greeks with a formal request for an ESM program, uh, possibly also uh, the uh, proposals from the Greek side, and we will then start formally uh, the process of looking at this request. With the Eurogroup conference? How is the mood um, We welcomed our new Greek colleague and listened to his um, assessment of the situation after the, the no vote in Greece. Uh, there were no new proposals at this point from the Greek uh, minister. Uh, the first step will be that the Greek government will send the Eurogroup a, uh, a new request, a new request letter for ESM support. Uh, and as soon as that comes in, uh, hopefully already tomorrow morning, we will have another conference call from the Eurogroup to formally start the process uh, of dealing with this request. The first step will be that I will ask the uh, institutions to look at the uh, financial situation in Greece, the financing need and the debt sustainability. And then the institutions will come back to us and we will see whether we can formally start the negotiations. All of this has to be done in a matter of days. It's, we have very little time, as you uh, are all aware. Thanks. We have a new Greek minister aangehoord die heeft aangegeven hoe hij denkt dat deze nee stem moet worden vertaald. Hij had nog geen nieuwe voorstellen bij zich. We hebben hem gevraagd een nieuwe brief aan ons te sturen met een verzoek om ESM-steun. De vorige brief zaten maar liefst drie uh, verzoeken in die zijn verouderd. En we hebben hem gevraagd om heel snel met hele concrete voorstellen te komen hoe de Griekse regering denkt 
geloofwaardig uh, Griekenland uit het slop te trekken, een geloofwaardig programma uh, te maken. Dat is niet een beetje teleurstellend dat er niet een concreter voorstel lag? Ten dele denk ik een misverstand naar het oordeel van de Grieken lagen er nog twee brieven die wij nog zouden behandelen. Naar ons oordeel is de politieke situatie echt veranderd. Zijn die brieven niet meer actueel. Dus we zullen aan het werk moeten met een nieuw verzoek en nieuwe voorstellen. Hoe lang kunnen de Griekse banken dit nog volhouden? Dat kan ik helaas niet beoordelen, maar de urgentie is natuurlijk heel groot. De banken zijn dicht zoals u weet. Op dit moment draaien de betaalautomaten nog, maar ik kan niet beoordelen hoe lang dat nog gaat duren. Maar de urgentie is toch groter dan een aanvraag starten voor een derde pakket wat heel lang gaat duren? Ja, dat is denk ik een vraag die u aan de Griekse minister moet stellen. Wij krijgen misschien vandaag nog een anders uiterlijk morgenochtend een nieuwe brief van de Griekse regering. Dan beginnen we het hele proces van dat verzoek beoordelen. We gaan dat zo snel mogelijk doen. De bottom line is natuurlijk dat het gewoon een geloofwaardig pakket moet zijn met maatregelen die Griekenland er echt bovenop brengen. Want anders is er eigenlijk geen basis voor, uh, voor een steunprogramma. Welke boodschap hebben we nu voor de regeringsleiders?